Okay, uh, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to tune the low on the carburetor of this uh, Echo CS590 chainsaw. Uh, this goes for every chainsaw out there. What I'll do is lean the low out, which is turning it clockwise until the engine uh, starts to essentially go lean and die. Uh, when it does that, I typically back the screw counterclockwise about one quarter of a turn and then check for acceleration. If the saw accelerates without hesitation, it's set properly. If the chain's still spinning after you do this, that is when you set the low idle screw. That simply adjusts the, uh, how far open the carburetor butterfly valve is. It's, it's, it's a very simple process. Now then, uh, Try to demonstrate how to tune the high. Uh, this saw is rev limited, so it's best that you tune the high while you're cutting. Uh, that can be slightly dangerous, but if done right, uh, you minimize the risk. Uh, the saw has already been warmed up. should start with barely even one full pull. Uh, if you noticed I tuned it very slowly. I turned the screw in clockwise. It got leaner, started to rev a little bit and then nearly died. Uh, when I actually could get the screwdriver lined up correctly I turned it out about a quarter turn but it still hesitated. So I turned it about one one more quarter of a turn. and that really seemed to make the uh, acceleration very snappy and that's what you want to pay attention for uh, you don't want any hesitation whatsoever you want it to really accelerate nice and quick and it should start very easily with barely even a full pull the High speed jet or screw on this particular saw I've already tuned. Uh, I still have it tuned a little, little bit rich for uh, break in. Uh, what you want to do, you tune the wood, you want to set the high speed screw really open uh, from the factory setting, say one full turn. Uh, it'll be very, very rich, it'll smoke that's fine. And then you want to take the saw, put it into a piece of wood, roughly about the biggest piece you, you normally cut. Uh, you uh, want to listen for the burble in the wood. Now this saw is rev limited, so it can, can be a little confusing. But if the bar is buried and your chain's decent, uh, you're not going to be hitting the rev limiter. So whatever burble you do here, uh, a lot of people call it force stroking, uh, will not be the limiter. Uh, what you want to hear when you put the saw in the wood is it force stroking right when it first hits the wood and then it clears out. Uh, this can take some time to adapt your hearing to uh, but once you get it it's usually quite clear. But What now I'm going to do is allow you to hear the difference in the burble. It should be quite distinctive.
Actually, it's running a little more rich than even I would I would want for uh, break-in. You could hear the difference quite 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 obviously. As soon as I leaned on it, you could hear it clear up. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn the high-speed screw in about an eighth of a turn or so. Let's see if that uh, allows it to clear up a little quicker. spot on and if you noticed when I leaned out the high it does somewhat affect the low there was hesitation so I had to open the low up again just a little bit this isn't a, a perfect science uh, I, I'm quite good at it I've been doing it for uh, the better part of my life now since I was a, a young teenager and uh, I'm quite adept at it uh, and if you practice you listen and pay attention to how the saw is behaving you'll you'll get the idea too you really have to just pay attention to how the engines running how much fuel it's getting or not getting